co-chairs, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I first of all want to say a big thank you to our co-chairs, President Maki Sall and President Emmanuel Macron, for inviting Ghana to be part of this important gathering. I decided to accept to come here to Dakar, beautiful, famous city, for a very simple reason. Believe the matters that we're talking about here are the most important facing our continent, education. We have the youngest population on the planet, the youngest population on the richest continent, but with the worst living conditions of anybody on the planet. And that paradox, that paradox can only be broken by education. So, two-pronged objective immediately. Access to education and the quality of education that would allow them to survive in this 21st century. But then we have the conundrum that has brought us here. How is this to be financed? I'm going to say something here that I hope is not going to put off those who are contributing money to our, the education of Africa. We cannot depend on other people to finance the education of our country. We cannot do that. I'm saying that not to turn my back or turn my nose or to be ungrateful to all these very important and noble people who have committed themselves to helping. No. But that if we make our policy dependent on people and other people, when their policy changes, we will suffer. But if we make the policy for ourselves, if we make the policy for ourselves, then it means that at all times we will be in control of our own destiny. And the monies, are they available on the, in the continent? Yes, they are. They are in abundance. We eliminate corruption. We take corruption out of our public life. We organize ourselves to have more intelligent arrangements for those who want to exploit our resources. That we have more balanced contracts between us and them. We prevent the flight of capital out of the continent. Tabo and Becky's commission that looked at the illicit flows of financial, illicit outflows of financial capital out of Africa has estimated that in the last 10 years, every year, 50 billion United States dollars go out of Africa through illicit means. Can you imagine what those monies, if we had our eyes open and we were not complicit in that illicit outflow, what it would mean for the capacity of our nation to be able to So that is our challenge. That is our challenge. How we can organize ourselves to make sure that the wealth, the huge wealth, of this great continent, at least for the first time in modern history, is used on behalf of the people of the continent and of those outside. If we are able to close that gap, we will come and here to Dakar and talk about education, but we will be talking about the funding of education by others. We will be talking about the quality of education, about the changes we need to make to our curricula, we need to, the emphasis we have to place on our history, on our movement, on our sociology. That then is the future. So that I am not misunderstood. All those who have been making the pledges, please, we are, it's, it's over. <laughs> But I think it is extremely important for us to get our whole mindset right. We have within us our capacity to develop and promote the interests of our continent ourselves. Let's do it. Thank you. Maybe.